Terrence Crawford coming off of that win off. I have no idea what that guy's name is. We're going to call him the Russian guy. Coming off of that win over the Russian guy, uh, Terrence Crawford looked great. Um, it was a, a young undefeated fighter he was taking on, and he did what he had to do to win. Crowd wasn't too happy about it. Uh, Crawford got a lot of booze from the crowd. And, uh, you know, it was a big card. You know, it was a big card. I think the crowd was really anticipating Miguel Cotto. They were really ready for their guy to come out there. And the fight between Crawford and the Russian guy kind of dragged on a little bit. Um, so they kind of, you know, they, they started letting their voice be heard. Uh, I thought Crawford put on a great performance, kind of showed how technical he is. Uh, showed how comfortable he is in that southpaw stance. Uh, so I thought he put on a great display. I would have liked to have seen him turn it up a little bit, you know what I mean? Because only for for the sense that this is the business of boxing and the casual fans have completely taken over the sport. You know what I mean? It, it, it just is what it is. That's the way to make money. And for his own good, I mean, I'm all for watching a technical performance. You know, I don't mind watching the Regan Dials of the world or the, or the Terrence Crawfords of the world go to work. You know, I just love boxing. But at the end of the day, um, fans like that, like me, are kind of in the minority. You know what I mean? Everybody else just kind kind of wants to see, you know, knockouts, explosions. Um, I mean, we're coming off of a weekend where we, we were seeing Vladimir Klitschko get a lot of criticism uh, from our core fans, you know, who weren't even, you know, who were really disappointed with his performance. So, you know, the casual fans hated that, you know. So, at the end of the day, Terrence Crawford does got a kind of grow into that mold where he starts to understand, hey, this is a business. And when I when I'm on an event like this, when I'm on a big HBO card, you know, I got to, you know, come out and, and, and really impress in some way, shape or form. You know, he's not really a huge talker outside the ring or anything like that. So, you know, inside the ring, he's got to do a better job promoting himself. But I think he's going to have nothing but good things in his future. Let's go ahead and talk about fight between him and Ricky Burns that's supposed to be happening pretty soon. Uh, Crawford is, is the mandatory for Ricky Burns. Ricky Burns looking hella suspect after his last fight with Ray, uh, Raymond Beltron. So yeah, uh, I think everybody kind of wants a piece of Ricky Burns at this point, and Crawford is the guy who's in line to do it. I don't see why Ricky Burns gives Crawford any problems. I really don't. You know, I'm sorry to the Ricky... Uh, Ricky Burns fans out there, but I just don't see how your guy really beats Crawford. Um, I think Ricky Burns just had, didn't do a really a, a good job managing his career. Uh, going after the Broner fight might not have been bad for him. He would have got some good money and some good publicity. You know, nobody in the United States knows who this guy is. Uh, not a lot of people even know who he is outside of the UK. So he's a name, but I feel like he could have been bigger. Maybe if he could have fought Broner and gave Broner a good fight, you know, at least, you know, maybe giving Broner a competitive fight, he would be a, a well-known name, you know, I think people in the United States probably know Gav Gavin Reese's name more than they know Ricky Burns' name, so he kind of made a mistake there, now he's going to fight a guy like Terrence Crawford, who's on the, he's on the come up, but he's, his name still isn't even as big as Adrian Broner's, and you're probably going to lose to him, so... I, I just don't see what was the point of just trying to squeeze a little bit more time uh, holding the belt. I, I just don't get what the point was. So, bad decision on the part of Ricky Burns. But I am looking forward to this fight. If it happens, hopefully it does. Terrence Crawford can go other routes. He can go and try to fight a guy like Miguel Vasquez. Obviously, though, this is going to be the fight that's going to give him the most money. I guess the question is, <laughs> will Ricky Burns duck another one of his mandatories? I guess that's what the next question really is. Um, other than that, I don't see why Terrence Crawford doesn't easily beat Ricky Burns. It's not much of a, a huge fight to me. But uh, you never know. Ricky Burns has heart. He might be able to make a fight out of it. He has length. Um, but I just don't see it, man. This guy Crawford just has too much tools in the toolbox. He's slick when he wants to be. Um, he could be aggressive when he wants to be. He could really do it all. I really like him. You guys let me know what do y'all think of this fight. Do you give Ricky a chance? And moving forward, what do you want to see from Crawford? Maybe we could see a fight between Terrence Crawford and Adrian Broner at some point. It's very possible, man. So you guys let me know what y'all think. Peace.